Hey everyone, it's Abby and welcome back to the channel. For today, I wanted to show you what's inside my travel backpack for an upcoming trip that I'm doing to Japan. So I have not been to Japan in like four years, which is pretty insane. And I'm looking forward to explore the city, cities rather. But before that, I wanted to show you what I bring with me to my trips. This is pretty much my carry-on luggage. I do have another luggage that I check in, but just in general, all the things I need that are within my reach. And also after, I don't know, I've traveled so many times this year and I've been to different types of trips like work trips, personal trips. And after, you know, calibrating different things that I bring inside my backpack, I finally found the right, you know, it's kind of like the Goldilocks set of things that I really, really, really need to bring. So let's go ahead and I do hope you enjoy this video. Okay, first things first is let's talk about the backpack. So this backpack, it's the brand Donut and this is not sponsored. Actually, if you watched my video from like, I don't know, five years ago, my first what's in my backpack video is also from Donut. That one is a color, it's a green color, it's really nice and actually, I gave it to my sister, so she's using it now. So we're basically twinning when we travel. But on my 30th birthday this year, I decided to get a more neutral colored tone, neutral colored backpack because you know, adulting. And also like my wardrobe has severely, like it changed so much since I moved to Berlin. So I'm currently living in Berlin and I just decided to get a more neutral colored one. So I'm gonna write the actual name and the colorway in the description, but yeah, it's a nice neutral colored backpack. It does have a lot of compartments and I really like that it's pretty um, handy in a sense that the compartments really help me with storage because most of my things are generally small. Okay, let's look at the exterior. So I do have a I don't really have that much things on. I used to own a Kanken backpack and I put like maybe 20 animal pins on, on the backpack and I realized that it's kind of inconvenient when I travel because they all just fall off so I don't I just don't put anything. I do have this platform nine and three quarters keychain that I really really like. I don't remember where I got. It's probably in like a Harry Potter store or something. I mean I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and then I also have this Strand bookstore keychain right here. So Strand is an indie bookstore and it's an independent bookstore in New York City. It's my favorite bookstore of all time. It's also where the book and TV show Dash and Lily is kind of like centered around. So I really, really like it. Yeah, but that's all I have on the outside. I also have an umbrella because I don't know if it's going to rain, but just in case. It's an old umbrella I have. It's called Doppler. I, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's pretty lightweight and so far it's the only umbrella that I haven't lost. So I'm glad it's still with me. So that's in one compartment, so there are two compartments. I'm saving this for an actual water bottle. So story time. I lost my water bottle like a few weeks ago in K-pop dance class. So I don't have anything with me right now. I do have like a generic one that I bring with me, but this is too big. So I'm not gonna bring anything at the moment. And yeah, I'm gonna save that because I'm gonna look for a proper water bottle. But yeah, theoretically, I do have a water bottle. Here in front, we have um, like a little pocket compartment. Um, admittedly, I don't reach for it as much, but I'll show you what's inside. We do have um, my medicine. Obviously, I have to add more, but I do have... <laughs> This is so adult, but like I have a lot of supplements and I also take a lot of medicine for my skin. So I have to update this, but I pretty much have to bring my stash, especially the B-complex and magnesium. Wow, I really sound like a 30 year old. Next, I have a hand sanitizer here. It's very Japanese. It's natto scented, wild wood sage, natto hydrating hand sanitizer. It's from a Philippine brand called Wonder Home Naturals and I like that you know you can just spray it and then you can just clean and then you're ready to go. Uh, I also have more sanitizers from other airlines. I don't know, do you guys have these things too? I have them, I just keep them there. And then I also brought a face mask 
just in case because I'm taking how long is the flight from Berlin to Osaka it's like 14 hours and there's a stopover so I'm definitely going to be using this mask at some point so this is a Mediheal mask now getting to the interior I like that it has this one this one's kind of like it fastens it together so let's take a look at what's inside so this backpack opens pretty wide and so because of that I have pouches inside the backpack so it's easier for me to kind of go through my things so you can see here it opens pretty wide um the least thing i want to do is you know when you're like in boarding or like you're in security check and you have to unload so many things onto the basket and have them screened i've had so much experience from that because most of the time i bring a laptop an ipad my phone my kindle and basically all the devices that need to be taken out of my backpack and like put back so because of that i just devised a better way to kind of store everything in my bag the least thing i want to do is like you know when you're looking for something and then you end up like panicking it might be lost or something and then you just throw everything back i don't want to do that i try not to do that because I still want to keep everything as organized as possible. In the end, I always think like, oh, I'm going to be the one who's going to suffer anyway. So with that, let's go inside. This backpack has like pretty good compartments behind the front flap. So um, I don't really put that much stuff here because most of the time I lose track of where it is and usually it's there. The only thing I mostly put there is actually my phone. So this is my phone. I use an iPhone 13 Pro. It's pretty straightforward. I just bring it to my trips and usually it's the one that's here. So every time I need to reach for it, it's here. And I don't really put it in pockets because I know how clumsy I am and I might lose it. There is a zippered part here. And in here I do have this uh, Peko Chan pouch that my good friend Sophie gave me. It used to house my keys, but now I have a big set of keys which i'll show you later so now it just has like bills like cash euro euros i do want to bring a couple of euros so i could maybe like exchange some just in case i need japanese yen on hand so i really like this also peko chan is japanese and i also love peko chan it's my favorite character yeah and then i have uh, my set of keys here which is has gone really big so, not that I need to show you, but I just wanted to show you the keychain. This is from Traveler's Factory. It's Traveler's Hotel uh, keychain. And then I got it at the San Francisco International Pen Show. And then this is Taylor Swift's Evermore. My good friend Gabs gave it to me, so I don't know. It's a vibe. And then this key... How do you call this? This key sling thing. It's from a local brand in the Philippines called Bags by Rubber Tree. So yeah, it's pretty nifty and then I just shoot it in and then now let's go to the nitty gritty and since my iPad is like begging to be coming out, there is a pocket inside the bag where you can insert a laptop or an iPad so it's kind of like cushion and that's where I'm getting this one which is great because then I don't have to, you know, it doesn't kind of go all over the place. So this is my iPad and it is iPad Pro. 12.9 inches i don't remember i think it was like third generation or something but it came out in 2018 it's it's pretty much an old model but it still gets the job done i basically watch movies here i also work a lot here i also have my apple pencil ready for drawing i do think i'm going to be not really drawing a lot but in case i need to do some lettering work or like yeah some art i can you know bring it undergo with me i will also bring a charger but usually the charger is reserved for my carry-on or for my check-in luggage rather next up we have a bunch of pouches here and let's get started with of course the ones that you really need when you're traveling yeah i quite have a lot of a lot of stuff here first let's talk about travel essentials i have this pouch it's a pouch from the traveler's notebook that i got which is a limited edition hotel one i feel like it's similar theme to the keychain i don't know i feel like i like the idea of hotel as like a i don't know it just so happens that i have most of them okay so i have these two things the one on the left is my wallet i obviously can't show you but 
it does have um, a compartment here for cards. This is where my um, residence permit and debit cards are. And then I have this like notebook for like logging notes and stuff. I do have this really nice coin purse. So this insert is from Baumkuchen and it's like a mini wallet insert. So I have a lot of coins here. And then here I do have a zip case for extra cards. So extra cards meaning like my train card and random things. So every time I'm just out and about, even in the city, this is what I use. And then I just have um, a bunch of, yeah, random cards here as well. So ever since I switched to this, it's just been easier to kind of grab and go wallet-wise because my wallet used to be like thick. So I didn't really like it. So I ended up just using this one. This is the Traveler's Records cover in passport size. This is a Moomin uh, passport cover and yeah this one has my passport right here and it's pretty straightforward then every time i get the boarding pass i can just insert it and then shoot it in so these two are in the traveler's hotel pouch next we have another pouch this is my new favorite pouch this is from a local brand in the philippines called badass tote girl and it's owned by my good friend Reese. So this is the chunky pouch in medium and the color is eggnog. You can tell that I have a very specific color scheme based on the stuff I've shown you in my backpack, right? Um, we have a capybara pin here. It's from Studio Dondon, also in the Philippines. And then this ink pin, I got this from the San Francisco International Pen Show. And then this is a, an Oregon keychain it's from portland so i went to portland last year and really liked it so in here is pretty much everything i need while traveling i have a packet of ibuprofen painkillers just in case but i also have a pack of advil here it's less intense i think it's 200 milligrams since it's 400 so depending on intensity it's nice to be prepared i also have a visine eyedropper more medical stuff we have petroleum jelly so a lot of you always ask about my hand and i don't respond because yeah it's eczema it's really bad it gets worse in the winter and the only thing that i can do is basically moisturize with petroleum jelly so i try to bring a small one another thing i do bring i am actually allergic to dairy so i need to stock up on lactase pills because Going to Japan means eating a lot of ice cream, drinking a lot of like milk-based drinks. So I need to be prepared because my favorite ice cream in Japan is called Kremia. It's so good, but I really need to prepare. So I have these um, lactase tablets. I just got it at a local drugstore here. So there's actually a lot of intensities. This is 6,000 and I think more or less it pretty much got me through a week in Italy. Like every day I did, I do take one before I eat gelato. So. I think it's done its job. And then I also have lip balm. This is Nivea. And you know, I just like to keep my lips moisturized and ready for traveling. And then we have more makeup stuff. So the only thing I mostly bring is perfume. This is my favorite. This is the Glossier U Rollerball. And it smells really, really good. It's my favorite scent of all time. It's just really good. So I always bring it, you know, just like, you know, just to smell fresh. And then this is the Romand Milk Tea Velvet Tint. It is a lip tint, but it's a pretty dark lip tint. It's Korean brand. I think it's not funny because a lot of you always ask me on like videos like, what lipstick are you using? Well, most of the time it's this one actually. So thank you. Um, but I'm not using it right now. I'm using a different one. But this is in number eight Earl Grey Tea because Earl Grey is my favorite tea hmm. but yeah the color is also quite nice i have a hair tie i try to bring more i need to bring at least a hair tie look how much hair ties i have on my table right now it's so funny and then i also would bring like a clamp like this because most of the time i like just clipping my hair up it's mostly long for the most part and then for tech i have i'm kind of old-fashioned i like wired earphone wired earphones so this is just apple wired earphones and i don't know i i usually work like when i'm at work work i do use my beats this is beats by dr dre beat studio 3 they're really great i was supposed to buy apple but it was too expensive for me this is like half the price and the sound is great but i don't really care when i'm traveling just because convenience wise it's a bit more bulky than usual so i just prefer having wired earphones i also have a pair of earbuds but i just hate that i have to keep charging it so honestly this is like 
foolproof for me. And then I also bring my phone charger 90% of the time. I also want to say that I've learned my lesson and I have to bring the one that's like USB-A wired because these are the ones that are mostly on the planes, not the USB-C. Because I do have a USB-C, like lightning to USB-C charger and it does charge really fast, but most of the time USB-C plugs are not available on most flights. So yeah, I just try to bring the USB-A. So that's what's inside my tiny pouch. And then next up we have, I guess more entertainment stuff on my end. I do have a Kindle. This is the Kindle Paperwhite and I try to bring it a lot because it's just something that I look forward to when I'm traveling. I'm mostly reading. Let me show you what's currently on my um, to read. I'm currently reading a chiclet. It's called The Burnout by Sophie Kinsella. Usually I'm not reading like chiclet but I just finished like a bunch of um, heavy books like Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, The Ballads of Songbirds and Snakes. Yeah, this year I was really productive with reading in general, so I just wanted to kind of slow down a bit. But yeah, I do bring my Kindle everywhere I go. It's really a mainstay for me because when I'm commuting, I try as much not to check my phone and I try to read more, especially if it's a really long commute. This one is just a regular Muji pocket notebook that I decorated with Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. So this one is my content notebook. Let me show you a very meta one. Okay, what's in my travel backpack? Du -du 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 -du. The reason I'm bringing this because I'm going to film some content in Japan, obviously, and I don't want to put it on my planner. I don't want to put it on my journal. So I need this pocket notebook to kind of run down some ideas and also figure out when to film, track my progress, and so and so. I know it's kind of redundant because I'm not supposed to film because I'm on holiday, but also, you know, I'm in Japan, might as well do that. So it's kind of this like push-pull and I just try to balance it out. So. For me, the best way to kind of draw that boundary is like having a separate notebook for it. For example, going out for dinner with friends. I'm not bringing this, you know? So that's kind of how my brain kind of processes these things. And then here we have the last things that we're going to be tackling. But before that, I wanted to tell you that if you want to check out my travel journal kit for Japan, make sure to check out my Patreon. I share an exclusive video about that topic right on Patreon. It does include these three, but also more things to kind of explain the types of supplies I bring when I'm traveling, especially to a different city. I think it does kind of differ based on different cities. And so for Japan, I do have an explanation as to why I'm bringing these items. So yeah, um, this one is a rickshaw three pen koozie. It is from rickshaw bags. It's made in San Francisco. And this is the sunflower design. It's, you know, it's Van Gogh. And I do have three pens here, fountain pens that I bring. I try to bring them in my backpack because I don't, I can't risk like not having them like within my proximity. So here are the pens that I am bringing. Next up, I have this zip case. It's actually a zipper. It's not, a, it's, a, it's a pen case. It's not a notebook. And we have zippers here on this side. And this is what I bring for all my sketching and drawing tools. So this is assuming that actually when I arrive, I am taking a bullet train to Tokyo. So I kind of need everything that I need in that backpack. So I don't have to keep, you know, I don't have to sit in the corner of the airport, like repacking and organizing things that I need. So I brought all my essentials in the backpack. So I do have a selection of these pens and these are my drawing and writing tools. Let me know if I should do a video in the future about specific pens I use. I do use a lot apart from fountain pens. But yeah, this is a very hefty uh, case. You will notice though that most of the cases I bring are kind of lightweight. I don't bring anything heavy because I don't want to pour back, you know. I'm old, I need to kind of protect my back, protect the back at all times. So yeah, I have this one. And then lastly, I do have a regular or standard size traveler's notebook, still in the hotel theme. So this is the traveler's notebook, hotel edition. And in here, I have my sticker book, which is by the way, um, available at uh, more stockists this December because I finally got to restock them. Um, so I will link everything down below. But this is a sticker book that I designed and it's really great. It's also very suitable for traveling. And if you're wondering what a sticker book is, basically 
They're all stickers. You cannot peel them. You can peel them and like they're ready to journal. So yay! Very cool. And yeah, basically I bring this so that I don't have to bring everything else. I also have a, a Kyoto insert right here, which is gonna be my main journal for the trip. I'm really looking forward to document with it. And yeah, it has like 64 pages, so I'm all set. Last but not least, so my backpack has a little kind of compartment here on the side. It's not, it's not easy to spot, but both sides have them. Most of the time I would bring a comb actually, so a comb or a brush. But I also have this one, which you don't see that often because I use it so meta. I use it for filming basically. But this is my trusty vlog camera. This is a Digi Pocket 2. And this is what I bring to most of my trips. It's very handy and pretty much does the job in terms of uh, wide angle filming. So you can see here what it looks like. And I really like that it's so portable and the panning and the stabilization of the footage is really great because otherwise this camera that I'm using is a bit more um, heavy and it tends to, you know, it's not as stable as I'd like it to be, especially if I'm filming vlogs and I'm out and about. So yeah, this is the trusty camera that I bring. It's always a debate between bringing this camera or this camera but most of the time I just bring this one and then I take photos using my phone since you know we've got portrait mode so it pretty much does the job so yeah that's it for what's in my backpack I do hope I covered most of the things that I mentioned and let me know what your essentials are and let me know how you find this video I haven't done these like show and tell videos in so long but definitely enjoyed walking you through what's inside my backpack and why I have certain things that are just uniquely me that I own. Thank you so much for watching. I also wanted to take this time to thank you for watching and subscribing and just being part of my YouTube creative community. I really, really appreciate you all. How do you do those like Gen Z? I'm not, I'm not Gen Z like that. I feel like I'm more like this. But yeah, thank you so much. Always be creating. Bye.